studio today we're having a mother-daughter teaching tour so this is my daughter Lex who is in town visiting and we're gonna teach her the flip cup so let's get down to the canvas and have some fun okay Lex has chosen to want to try the flip cup so we are both using uh, 8 by 8 inch artist off level 2 canvases for the colors she has chosen US art supply in peachy gold pink iridescent um, Master's Touch in Medium Magenta. This is... Oh, I have the bottle there somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Arteza in Mint. Or I think it's Precious Mint Green. And then we've got uh, Titanium White from Amsterdam. And of course DecoArt 24K Gold. And then I've got sort of a crazy color palette here. So this is a mixture of Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow along with some Arteza Electric Yellow. Just what ended up in there. This is Artist Loft Vermilion. This is some leftover, a small amount of leftover DecoArt uh, Metallics in Emerald. And this is a mixture of, I think there's Liquitech Basics Turquoise Blue, there's Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, and there's probably a couple other blues somewhere in there. It's the blue pot. You know how I love my mystery colors. So we're going to start by showing how we fill our split, our, our flip cup. So because of the size of our canvas, we're only going to fill this eight ounce cup to about five ounce line. And we're going to pour a layered cup. But we're going to start by just putting a small amount of white and we want to pour it so it goes so it goes down the side of the cup forms a nice little layer on the bottom and we're going to pour a little bit of gold and you can do the same and then you're just going to pick an order light dark light dark and just make little layers down the side until your cup is full has called her color palette Barbie. She says they're sort of the Barbie tones. five ounces, which is probably even too much for these little canvases. But I like a little extra so we can stretch and play. So we both have our cups, and we are ready to do some flipping. Now you're going to do the easy flip or the hard flip? Uh, which one's which? Okay, so the easy flip, there's two ways you can flip your cup, guys. One is put your canvas on top and then flip the whole thing together. Or the second way is hold your cup on the bottom and flip. Oh yeah, I'll do this. <coughs> there we go. Look at that. First try. All right, now leave it be a minute. Air come up to the top. 
Now, do you want to grenade it? Now, we can either pull the cup off in a variety of different ways, or we can push a pin in there and let air in it, and it'll push the cup up and blow the paint out. Slower, so you get more effects. Yeah, let me do the grenade. Okay, we'll get some pins. You always want to make sure you give your cups a little time to let the paint fall down and the air fall up. All right, so you want to hold your cup not too tight and then give yourself at least one really good hole. And it's hard to get through these cups. They're thick. And then pull it out, holding your cup down so it doesn't. And then maybe put a second hole if you need it. It's still not going, we'll just give it a little start and let it go. Alright, so what you can do if it's not really going on, so just lift it just enough that some paint starts and it starts to move and then stop. There it go. There it goes. It'll keep going. Once it starts, it usually keeps going. And if it doesn't, we can just lift it and just lift it just a tiny bit and, and like twist. So you're letting the paint out, but you're moving it around as you go. See, I'm moving mine around the canvas and twisting until I'm ready to get that final up. And then what you can do, if you want, you can put a little accent line in and just run your cup through. I think I like this area a lot, so maybe I'll do it. You don't have to. You don't want to scoop it up. You want oh, okay. to just run the, you just want to run the side like that. See? So you get the line without scooping all your paint back into your cup. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty yeah, cups there. The oh, look at that. Pretty. All right. Now we got to get the torch. Okay, now that we've got our bubbles all popped, I just have a few stubborn bubbles here myself. Got any more stubborn bubbles? All right, now we're gonna tilt. Now, when you tilt, you're gonna tilt just till you go over the edge. I'll show you first. And we're going to tilt till it goes over the edge a little, just enough to cover it and pull back towards the center. Okay, because you can always help that corner out with your finger. And pull back to center. Then you can either go to this corner or this corner next, whichever one you want. But you want to, you can use those feet that are underneath to help you hold it. Just don't hold it over my canvas. <laughs> All right, so go to the next corner. So you always go to the corners away from you and then turn the canvas so you're not pouring into your hand. So you're like, I'm gonna do that corner next. So I'm gonna tilt to that corner. And then I'm gonna pull back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my corners a bit. You can scoop up a little paint and fix a white corner if you want. You got a corner that's not looking so good. Oh, there you dipped pink into my green. Now you see I put very little green in here, but because I put the blue and the yellow, they made lots of green. <laughs> I got a lot of green. All right. Now. Do you like it as is, or do you want to sort of manipulate and get more of one thing and less of another? I think I really like how it is. I had this really cute blue streak that sadly kind of went away as I was tilting, but that's okay. You can kind of see it in the corner. Well, one thing you can do 
is if you want. Like, let's say I want to add a little yellow, okay? I can take my smack stick, thank you, sir, Mac, and dip it in this yellow. And let's say I want to run along this line here. A little bit more yellow. See? Okay. I'm just going to add a little more yellow in a few spots here because a lot of my yellow turns to green. Yeah. Some people just use a chopstick. Oh, it was a chopstick. Or a smack stick because Sarah Mac. Uh, okay. So Sarah Mac, smack, smack stick. All right. What do you think? Yeah, I see some of the glue starting to come back in, which looks really cute. You see the streaks in it. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you want, you can take the smack stick and dip it in your glue and just run it along that line to add a little extra. So I don't even think it is. Okay. It looks very fun. All right. Let's give you guys. Uh, I'm gonna clean up edges. I'm gonna teach her how to wipe her bum because you always want to wipe your bum. You don't want a dirty bum on your painting. We'll pull your paint off, and then we'll bring you down for a close-up. So hang in there. Okay, we have wet results. We'll do mine first. So this came out pretty cool. The vermilion sort of looking more brown mixed with the gold. And I got a lot more blue and a lot less, I mean a lot more green and a lot less blue because the yellow and the blue made some more green, but I think it came out really cool. All right, this is Lex. What do you think, Lex? I love it. It's very party. It's very on theme. I think um, the dark pink is really well suited. Got some nice lines and some nice cells. Good job for the first try. All right, guys. I'm gonna let these sit and dry, and I'll give you dry results. Okay, we have dry results. Hers is 100% dry, mine is about 90% dry, maybe. She has some beautiful lines. Oh, some cells. Came out just fabulous for a first pour. And this is mine. It was a lot of fun to teach her the grenade. I hope you've all enjoyed this. Now this is part of Friday with Friends, so please check the description box for the playlist and the list of artists who are in the train tonight. It was so much fun having her pour with me. Okay everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We had fun for her first pour. If you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and don't forget if you subscribe to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Thank you so much and have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.